Hello, welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony. Today we're going to be talking about email marketing and some new information that's come out about some best practices to help you. This video is going to be brief, straight to the point. I want to make sure I give you this little bit, this little nugget of information so um, that we won't take too long, okay? Well, anyway, so email marketing is, you know, kind of one of those things that we know. Uh, does work, but can be challenging because the consistent nature of what we have to do is tough. Okay, so there has been uh, some recent studies, and I was just uh, looking at one a bit ago from Hunter.io. If you know that website, that's a place where you can go and get email addresses. You know, you you type in um, company names, etc. It scrapes website or in other places to find the email address and validates them and things like that. Anyways, they had released a study, um, and they had analyzed over like thirty four million. Uh, emails, right? Um, and they compared them to how many words you put in an email. Okay, does that determine how mu- uh, how many responses you get, right? Um, and so they analyzed all these emails, and they found that literally between twenty nine, I think it was twenty nine, was the top, so 20, oh, sorry, 20 to 39 words, basically, 20 to 39 words out of like 34 million cold emails saw um, a, an at least almost 1% boost in um, getting responses, now you might think 1%, (laughs) how much is that, but I think if you consider you know, what is the percentage that we usually get responses from cold emails? I mean, you're talking nowadays between like two to 4%. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, if you send out 100 emails, right, we'll, we'll probably get maybe two to four responses. So those numbers, that 1%, makes a massive difference because that one percent could mean the difference between you know a high paying job and no job so you know i think it's a valid uh argument to be made now to pay attention to these kind of studies so 20 to 39 words so what is that basically it's like you know a sentence or two <laughs> that that's really it a sentence or two. And I find that, you know, and I, I think it makes perfect sense with how much people are, um, you know, busy today, how much people are working, how many, how much emails we get. I know shorter emails I actually pay a lot of attention to because that's not typical. And you have to think of everything that we do in order to stand out, we have to, in marketing, or as we have to do things that are not typical to catch people's eye. And, sh- and, and, and I think, you know, if you can read something quickly, Right, because if you think about it, a lot of um, cold emails, a lot of marketing, we end up sending three, four paragraphs, right? That that you know could be quite a you know four or five sentences each, or you know three to five sentences of paragraphs. So you're talking a lot of words, right? Um, you know, you're probably talking hundreds of words, and the reality is, is we'll probably read one or two sentences, and then that's it, um, which brings to the next point of this is brevity, right? You need to make sure that you are right there saying exactly what you want to say and let the person decide. You know, I think in the past, you know, there's been so many things about, you know, you need to build rapport, you need to say this, you need to do that, you need to, you know, wait until the end to talk, you know, for your offer or what you'd like them to do. I mean, the reality is we don't have time for that. And and I'll be square with you, like when I need services, You know what I'm saying? If I need something and someone, you know, sends something to me, I don't want all the fluff around it. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to know what do you, you know, I want you to tell me what you are offering or what you, what you would like, what you're trying to do. And if I need it at that moment, I'll respond or I'll be active with it. If I don't, I don't. You know what I mean? You have to think of it that way. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, And you know, that's, that's something that really will help. And you think from cold email standpoint, you know, you're even warm emails. I mean, even emails that you're sending on a bi week, you know, bi monthly or monthly basis, you know what I mean? To follow up. I mean, I, I'm not saying the old newsletter is dead, but you know, newsletters as they are, you know, you have to have a, you have to have an audience that's really into the information that you're saying. So what we're doing is not a newsletter type of stuff. 
right? Because we're not, that's not what we're trying to do if we're trying to get people to buy from us. Okay. We're, we are, you know, cause we're not usually producing content that would go into a newsletter that these people would be interested in seeing. You, you know what I'm saying? So um, now if you are creating that, right. And that's, that's a, a part of your marketing strategy, that's fine. But you know, that information is going to be, uh, you know, people are going to sign up for that newsletter because they want that information and working with you is an added bonus down the road if they need it, which is a great way to do it. But that's typically not what the majority of us do because just of time and everything like that and the different amount of voiceovers we do, right? Unless you pick a specific niche, which is that's a, a whole nother topic. But but anyway, so so here, so 20 to 39 words, literally it's like two sentences, Right, and you want to be brief, and you want to be straight to the point about what you're saying, what you're asking, what you're informing. Okay, that I mean, that's that's that is a a, a kind of step moving forward. And according to like you know this, um, you know, out of 34 million emails, cold emails they uh, uh, reviewed, they saw the biggest bump out of all of the words. The amount of words, right? And I think they went up from anywhere from you know zero, like zero to nineteen, all the way up to two hundred plus. And just a quick note too: between zero and ninety-nine words, you still had four. Well, well, forty to fifty-nine words was below four percent, but you know zero to 90 actually 20 to 39 words was the highest out of all of them and then 60 to 99 words was a little bit over four percent but 20 to 39 was all was closer to five percent so but the rest of them were under under four percent going up to 200 plus so i think it's just a cool thing to force yourself to be brief right in what you're saying and uh you know see see what kind of responses you're getting from that all right, guys, thank you so much. Like I said, I just wanted to keep this uh, video short today. Hopefully it was helpful. Just a nugget. Make sure you check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy. All right? If you're interested in, in growing your voiceover business, learning all this stuff, um, you know, classes and courses and our community, check out our link below. Uh, we'd love to have you. You guys have a wonderful Thursday. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.